Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Basic C Sharp and ASP.NET using Visual Studio 2015. Introduced by Technolytics, take IT easy. In today's video, we are going to create a simple web page with various basic server controls to demonstrate setting and use of their properties. And for this purpose, we are going to install the following uh, basic controls such as text box, list box, radio button, checkbox button, and a simple event handler in ASP.NET. For this purpose, guys, we're going to create a form like this, where four labels are there, such as enter your name, select your country, gender, and costs. Also, we are having one text box, one list box, two radio buttons, two checkboxes, and one button. Let's begin with the first control, that is text box. Basically, it is used uh, for allowing a user to enter some text. Uh, you can see we have uh, inserted one text box over here and ID property of this text box. I have changed to TXT name. Let's begin with the next control that is list box. Once you will install list box from the toolbox, you can get this small menu bar where you can, you have to create, uh, click on this edit uh, items. Once you click on this edit items, you will get this particular window from where you can add items in your list box. Also, you can remove items from the list box. Once you are satisfied with the listing, you can click on OK. Here I can show you, we can change the ID property of list box as LST location. The next control which we are going to see is radio button. Here I have inserted two radio buttons from the toolbox. Uh, I have shown you the ID property of uh, female button as RD female and text property of female button as female. Likewise, you can uh, change the ID property of male button as RD male and text property of male button as male. Let's see the next control as checkbox. You can see I have inserted two checkboxes over here. One is ASP and one is C sharp. Uh, the property of uh, ASP checkbox, uh, the ID property, I have changed to CHKSP and it is property of this checkbox as ASP. Likewise, you can change the ID property of C sharp checkbox as CHKC and text property of C sharp is C sharp. The next control which we are seeing is a simple button. This button is uh, just to process the form if you want to apply any kind of event such as single click maybe double click so you can apply with the help of this button control I have changed the ID property of this button button control as BTN submit and the text property of this button control is as submit now I have also displayed one property box over here where you can see the listing of the controls uh, the respective properties of those controls and the respective value of those properties. So this listing I have given for your reference, you can refer it while creating your form. Once uh, your form is ready, now next step is to apply some event handler on it. So I have, I'm trying to apply a click event on it. Since we were having submit button, we can write, we can double click on that submit button so that we can get the code behind class uh, file that is .cs file where you can easily write this particular code. Now this code says uh, like response.write meaning you are trying to display this text that is your selection. This text will be displayed. I have also embedded some HTML tag in it that is VR tag. Uh, the next thing which I am trying to display is the txt name.txt. Whatever text user has written in the text box that will also be displayed. Also, I'm trying to display the selected item from the list box, uh, the, uh, the text of selected item. So I'm trying to display it. Next, I'm checking uh, whether my radio button, first radio button is checked, then I'm trying to display its text. If second radio button is checked, then I'm trying to display its text. Likewise, I'm again checking if my first checkbox is checked, then I'm trying to display the first checkbox text or else I'm again checking if my second text box is checked 
I'm trying to display the text of my second text checkbox. Uh, next, I have just uh, made the visibility of all the controls as false so that user will not get confused with the form output and the actual form. Since the visibility is false, you will not be able to see all the controls on the form. This will be my output. Like first, your selection text is there, followed with the text box value, followed with the list box value, followed with the radio button value, and of course, followed with the checkbox value. I would just like to show you in the Visual Studio. Uh, I have already written the code. You can see my design. I have, I have inserted one table first, and in the first column, I have inserted all the labels, and in the second column, the respective controls such as text box, list box, two radio buttons, two check boxes, and one submit button. After double clicking on submit button, you can see I have written the same code which I have explained you just now. So you simply by using response.write, I'm trying to display the respective values. Let's run this code by pressing Ctrl F5. You can see my browser is open and here, all labels are there, respective controls are there. Now I'm trying to put some values over here. Gender, I'm selecting as female and course may be ASP. So likewise, I'm clicking on submit button and all the values visibility was false and hence all form controls are invisible right now. But you can see due to response or write, I can see your selections and the text which I had selected, the list box value which I had, I had selected, the radio button and as well as my checkbox selection is also been displayed over here. So that's all for this video. On behalf of Team Te Technolytics, I thank you all for attending today's session and wish you all a very happy learning. Please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.